What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then I'm gonna show you how to create video ads for Facebook in a really quick, easy and cheap way as well. In fact, it's not gonna cost you a single penny. And it's actually the method I used myself back when I started dropshipping nearly three years ago. And to prove to you that this method actually works, I've got an example of an ad I used to run and I'm just gonna show you the kind of results that it produced. But before we jump into the video then, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me on this video. All you've gotta do then to enter the raffle is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video then yesterday's, then make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And that being said then guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get straight into it. What's going on then guys? So just quickly then to show you the ad that I created. This is the one I use. You can see I used it on five different ads. Um, and these are the kind of results it produced as well. So you can see that in total, all in all, this one particular video um, generated a little bit over 26 grand for me. Um, and just to prove that the results are real then, as always, I will refresh the table so you can see there's no trickery or anything like that going on. Um, and just to show you the actual ad itself, um, so I've opened it up here and I'm just gonna play it for you guys so you can see um, essentially what goes into an ad um, to produce those kind of results. So it's really did simple to do. Um, however, there is a particular reason then why the images are in this particular way, which we're gonna get into, um, and why essentially something has been put there, because when it comes to advertising, if there's nothing, it's not necessarily what you need to put into it, but also what you need to take out of it as well. If something isn't there for a reason, then there's no need for it to be there. It's only taking up space and time, and if it's not gonna ultimately help you make purchases and get somebody to click on your ad, then I would just get rid of it entirely. So as you can see then, nearly a million people reached, 40,000 engagements, 2,000 shares, um, and all in all then, a pretty profitable ad for me. What's going on then guys? So as you can see then on the right side of the screen, um, I've got my phone and I'm just gonna be working through in real time with you guys. So you can see ag exactly everything that goes into creating an ad is a, a, essentially, um, I'm gonna be starting the process from start to finish so you can see absolutely everything. Um, but just so you know what app it is, then you will need a phone to do this. Um, and it is the app called Quick. So that's spelled Q-U-I-K. It's available on Apple and on Android, and it's free as well. I'll put a little screenshot somewhere um, on the screen so you can see that you don't have to pay a penny for this app. So it's actually 100% free then um, to create your ads in this way. So let's get started then. I'm just gonna open up the app. And one thing to mention then is when you're creating a, um, a video, you're gonna need, I believe, at least five photos. So all these photos you're about to see um, have just come from AliExpress, from this product page here. And as you can see, they've actually got a video themselves that they've created. So if this looks like too much work for you, then try and find a supplier with a video ad and always ask their permission first to use their images and their videos just to be 100% safe. So I'm just gonna move the kind of recording over to this side of the screen just so any notifications don't block or get in the way. Um, so this is essentially the home screen of the app. Um, you can see there's already a story in there. This was actually the example I did in a previous video, but the audio was out and it was a pretty terrible video to be honest. So I thought I'd re-record one and plus that we've had a lot of new subscribers since I did this one in November. So you've got the buttons at the bottom then simply go ahead, click the plus sign and that's just gonna open up your camera roll so you can pick the photos that you want to use for this particular project. So as you can see, I've got like six different photos here. I'm just gonna select them. Please excuse all the other ones. Um, add six photos and it's gonna pretty much create like a, a project for you. Um, let me see if I can get this volume up. So apologies for that. I just had to quickly sort the audio out so you can see it's exactly what the app is doing for you. So I'm just gonna play this. In fact, I need to press the button on my phone. I'm just gonna turn it down so you can, so hopefully you guys can hear me. And essentially what it does is it puts together all these different kind of themes for you and puts all your images into these projects, into these slideshows. So it pretty much has like pre-created um, videos that you can actually use yourself and they're fully customizable as, as well. So as you can see, I'm just scrolling through them. Um, you can select different ones and it's gonna preload it and show you exactly what it looks like. Um, but if I remember rightly, last time I used this, I quite like this epic one because um, it gives you like a brief title heading that you can use and then it kind of zooms in onto different points of a photo, which I'm just going to show you um, for this example. So we'll go ahead and choose epic and then you've got like the different selections at the bottom so you can change the music, you can change the order of the photos. So what I want then is that I want the first photo to be 
of some actual dogs you're wearing the collars because this is what is going to attract people's attention and the best way to advertise any product is to actually show the product being used so basically then the app works in four stages. You start on the first stage where you choose your theme, which is kind of like the general layout, how it shows the images, the different headings and title screens. And then you the next thing you wanna choose then is your music. You can scroll the th across and through, make sure the video is playing so you can hear different music. Um, and you wanna choose one that's that matches the kind of product you're selling. So if you're selling a really upbeat, happy product, for example, like dog LED dog collars, then you want something like this. So this one's called Friends. And another thing you can do as well, is if you press these arrows here, it gives you like all the different songs within that category. So Friends is the category, and there's four different songs. So simply find one that you quite like the sound of, one that goes well with the images, um, and then simply leave that as your selection. And moving on to the next screen, um, the third one along, which is where we're actually gonna be um, actually editing each and every image. So I'm just gonna pause the video then so you can't hear the music, just so it makes this video a bit clearer, hopefully, and easier to go through, easy to understand. So I'm just gonna scroll through these and go back to the very first one. Um, which is the title and heading page. And we can actually edit this to say whatever we want it to. So I'm just gonna delete that. And I'm just gonna put something that entices people and grabs people's attention. So something like um, every dog owner needs what? Needs, the, needs one of these, needs one of these. Exclamation mark. And then we can put an emoji in as well. So it's a nice friendly ad. And then one thing we can also do as well is we can change the duration of how long this slide is shown for. So obviously we don't want it too long because we want to exact, essentially show the customer what our product is as soon as possible. So if you just keep clicking that, you can see it scrolls through and you've got three different options. So you've got short, regular, and long. So we're gonna have it as short. There's not a lot of text to read. Um, it's just enough for them to see essentially what we're saying and grab their attention. So we can duplicate it if we want another title one. And if we did, we could essentially go back to this main screen and we can move it later on down. So if you wanted say one slide purely to say a particular um, heading or whatever it was, then you could do that. But for this video, I wanna try and show the product is as, in as many ways as possible. So I'm simply just gonna delete that one. To delete a slide then, it's dead simple. You simply just push down on it and then drag it down into the trash can. So the first slide then is obviously to grab attention. Every dog owner needs one of these. The second one clearly shows all the different animals wearing the product, just examples of how the product works. So I don't really want any, any kind of text on that one. But one thing that we can do then, if we just hit this edit button in the center, as you can see at the bottom line, there's like a focus point and we can move this around then to select a certain section of the image that we want the camera to focus on. So as you can see, I've put it on that top left dog. If we just go back now and play it, you can see that it kind of like the camera kind of moves into that dog. So that's kind of like the main focal point of that particular slide. So we'll just go back and have a look at the different options. We can add text, we can delete it, we can adjust it. So if you, for example, the images aren't quite the right size, you can just crop them dead easily. You can rotate them, flip them. All the different customizations that you have available are pretty good to be fair on this app. To say that it's 100% free as well, then you're probably not gonna find an easier or better or cheaper way um, to create videos for Facebook. So moving on then to the next slide, this is where I'm gonna start having headings and things to try and essentially make people trust us make people click on the ad and make people want to buy this product so I'm going to click edit on this one and we're going to have some text so we're going to have um, one of my top tips when it comes to Facebook ads which I did in my previous video which is PayPal welcome okay in fact another thing to show you is in the top right you've got different ways of displaying it so you can have it small or you can have it large um, whichever way you choose we're going to change the focal point as well just to make sure that we are displaying as exactly what we want the customer to see in the photo. Um, and I think that'll do it. So we're just gonna check that out and see how that looks from the beginning. Every dog only needs one of these. Different dogs wearing LED dog collars, PayPal welcome. So I think so far so good. And then again, you can go through, add different text options to all of these. So the next one could be, I don't know, let's say six plus different colors. 
six plus different colors. And again, that's gonna kind of like make the customer intrigued to see what other colors there are. Moving on to the next slide then. Um, hopefully you guys are kind of getting the gist of what you can and can't do with this app. Um, I would recommend having some text on every single one. But again, going back to that point that I mentioned earlier, don't just put something on there that ran that's random and means nothing to the customer. You always wanna put something on there meaningful that's gonna entice the customer to essentially buy the product. So it could be something like uh, free shipping on all orders, which you could add. It could be 50% off for new customers, whatever it is, just make sure what you put on there is on there for a reason. So to finish the video off then, we can move on to this fourth and final square at the bottom, which is kind of looks like the wrench. And then you've got all the different kind of options again in which you can customize it. So you can change the format. Um, you can go to a cinema, which is like a wider view. You can do square, which is probably the best way because then you're covering the whole screen or you can do portrait as well. So depending on what you're creating this video for, whether you're creating it for a Facebook video ad or if it's to go on Instagram or if it's to go on your mobile phone and you can do different formats you can change the duration as well so if you want to make the overall video shorter you can but to be honest the standard length works pretty nicely um, and then you can change when the music starts as well which is pretty interesting so simply just drag it and as you can see the music's just going to start at different stages um, and then finally you can put a filter on as well so if you want to be a bit artistic or depending on what kind of niche you're in. If you're in like the fashion niche or something like that or in the cooking niche, you might wanna use some sort of filter just to make the images pop that bit more. So that being said then guys, that pretty much wraps up the video, all the different kind of options and variables you have available. Um, so let's just watch the video back then and essentially see what we've just created. Every dog owner needs one of these, so creating that anticipation is making people intrigued. We're telling people that we're trustworthy because we use PayPal, there's different colors, and then you can have like free shipping, 20% off for new customers. Um, whatever you so choose to put on there, it's gonna depend on essentially what niche you're in. So that's the ad then. Once you have created something that you're happy with, just go ahead, click the save button. And what you wanna do is if you scroll to the bottom and just click photo library, that way it's gonna save it to your phone and then you can put it on your PC, on your computer, on your Mac, whatever you wanna do, um, rather than upload it directly to any social media. But at the end of the day, it's completely up to you. That is just the method um, that I use. So that being said then guys, that's exactly how I created my video ads in the beginning. If you do use this app and create some ads, then I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So please do come back and send me a link to your videos. I'd love to see what you guys create. Um, and that being said then, that I'm gonna wrap the video up there. If you're still watching, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. And if you wanna be entered into that raffle then to win the one-to-one -one call, then of course, leave a comment down below as well. And that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. So here we are then on yesterday's video. I am trying to do daily uploads now. Um, so if this is something you wanna see, then make sure you subscribe. Um, and this was yesterday's video then. So three quick and easy ways to increase sales on your Shopify dropshipping store. Um, and we're at just over 400 views and 56 likes, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very much. So I'm just gonna take the URL then, copy that, head over to our random comment picker. We had 46 unique comments, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very much. The channel, in fact, has been growing really quickly recently. So thank you to you guys. Um, and the winner then is Alex L. Always great value would mean the world to me to have this call with you, brother. So thank you very much, Alex. Congratulations. Um, make sure you reach out the best way is probably on Instagram actually so hit me up on Instagram and we can get that call arranged for everyone that didn't win this time then um, you can actually book a call if you want to the link will be down below in the video description or you can keep watching the videos and leaving comments and one day your time will come and that being said guys thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one